May I now invite His Royal Majesty Agabaito Ata Idakumake Amuboni to bless the house. Agabaito. my brothers and sisters in Christ. You are welcome to this August occasion. Good day, my brothers and sisters in Christ. No response? <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, the choir man. You gave us a very good uh, rendition of your uh, Jesus Yai. And I'm so interested and I like the number. If you have uh, the number, I would like to get it. Well, to God be the glory. And we thank God for today. In this day, in fact, the invitation was coming and I was looking forward. I prayed very hard so that I would put other things aside so that I would present here before the people of God. And this is my first time of appearing in this Magician edifice. It is very beautiful. Well, uh, I, when I was an ordinary man, not a chief, I used to attend uh, the night vigil with the man of God in the ecumenical center there. I think I did about three occasions to be there. So, and I'm now privileged, and I thank God for today for being here before you are missed, the children of God. Now, my speech goes like this. Well, first of all, to start. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I thank God for, for every one of you present today on this great occasion. In the presence of God, you will not go empty in the name of Jesus Christ. My son, Prophet Dr. Emmanuel Omala, is a son born in due season, whose birth was announced in angelic beings, by angelic beings, and he has not failed to live up to God's expectation to his life. And I'm grateful to God for that. From the, from the tender age of eight, the Spirit of God was manifested in his life. When God started to use, or to use him, from that period, he has not looked back. I have not had any negative stories about his life or ministry. And this informed why I canceled all my entreaties to be present at this occasion, just as I told you. His simplicity, his way of life, his humility, his focus has brought blessings to unaccounted millions and I know you have been blessed of God blessing of blessed of God through him when the church was in a zone one I think so somewhere Abidjan Street zone six I came there as an ordinary person I've already retired from government and I've already moved to the state in my little house there. So I entered this premises for the first time. I was ushered in. When I came, I sat before him. I started looking at him. I said, okay, this is the man of God. So smallish. I said, well, small things, big things come from. So, but when he started talking to me, one of his uh, aides came in to open a cupboard and then uh, was taking something out. He told him, he said, look, come. What are you doing? You have come to the presence of Atta Igala. Show respect. I was shocked. I, I looked around. He said, look, there's Atta Igala sitting before me. So the man, I, said, I, thought, I looked, I was helpless. I was speechless. But behold, I think I thought God is speaking before you now. <laughs> Praise be to God Almighty. Not to talk, not to take too much. I want to pray to God for everyone here present today. 
whatever you have asked of God, I stand in the holy glory and declare you we receive it in the name of Jesus. Everyone bearing in this house, I pronounce you fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone sick of any form or disease, I command you healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I am not pronouncing it because God has asked me to pronounce it in the presence of the man of God in the holy chapel of God. So take it for it. From today, I command you address change from poverty to wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ. When you have failed, I say you will succeed. Again, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you blessed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, thank you very much. May these prayers come to pass in your life. Those of you afflicted with so many diseases, those that you can see today, or those that you see some years come to come, God will all remove them from you. Especially barrenness. May God remove for all the women who are here, who are of age bearing, uh, I mean, children, child bearing. So let them have peace in life because that's the product of the womb. May we witness it. Now, above all, I've been so surprised that God has lifted my son to a greater height. I continue to pray for him to bless him with more wisdom, with more anointment, so that the people will benefit. Now, I wouldn't conclude without talking a little about our people. We are, he is from where I got our people. Well, we are not so rich and uh, we are not too poor. Uh -huh. But for God Almighty to look down on us and bless us with a seed that will be, will have the anointment of God, we think it should reach the whole nooks and crannies of this country to bring salvation to people because he is gathering the sheep that are lost and bringing them to Christ. I pray you rise in this endeavor. God blessed him from the womb and he started his evangelism at an age, a tender age of eight. It was in him. So I am very, very proud of him. And I'm proud of him because some of you don't know that we in Gala, we are from uh, Kwarafa Kingdom. That's why when the uh, protocol officer was saying, you might be confused, say, what is Kwarafa? Maybe it's in Adama State or Taraba State. Huh? Huh? But it has spread across the whole of Nigeria. We are the silent majority in Nigeria. And since God has blessed us with somebody who pilot as ritual affairs, Kwarafa will rise again. God bless you all. God bless you all.